Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, your virtual piano teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of this channel. I'm leaving the link in the description of this video, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel Gianluca Fronda, pianist and composer, if you're interested in original music and covers. Talking about this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know about yourself uh, by commenting, tell me when uh, you have started, if you are finding my channel interesting and you are improving your skills also thanks to my videos. And don't forget also to share with your friends if there is anybody interesting in piano music, any that, anybody that you know. So now time to go to our lesson. Today is time for the 12th music theory lesson. Today I, have to talk, I want to talk about the compound time signature and I want to compare them to the um, uh, simple time signatures. Now let's uh, dive into the lesson. Let's write, first of all, compound time signatures. Which ones are the compound time signatures? Until now we have analyzed and we have overused the time signatures featuring um, as a bottom number the number 4. Indeed these time signatures using the number 4 are the ones that we call simple time signatures. They are in simple time. As soon as you start using, as soon as we use the 8, the number 8 underneath, we are going to face the compound time signatures from any of the simple time signatures will be derived a compound time signature. And now indeed, let's write on the left side the simple ones. We have 2, 4, we can have 3, 4, we noticed, and we can have also 4, 4. I could say uh, in general, coming from mathematics, you would say two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. In, ma in music, it's enough to say two, four, three, four, or four, four, or two over four, three over four, four over four, where you have, I hope, finally understood the meaning in music of this number four. The number four, the bottom number, that at the beginning seems to be the less important one, but then it is really important, tells you the identity, the quality the type of, so which one is to be the count, saying 2 over 4, we are saying that we have two counts we need in each bar, two counts, each of them, one quarter, one crotchet, one quarter note, here's the same story, three counts, each of them is worth one quarter note, one crotchet, or four or counts worth one quarter note, one crotchet. We have to multiply all these numbers by 3 over 2 to get the relative compound time signature. So we have to multiply 2, 4 by 3 over 2, uh, 3, 4 by 3 over 2, and same story with the 4, 4, and we will get the relative compound time signature. I have to add today one that has never been mentioned previously, that is the 1 over 4, 1 fourth, you will understand why it's so important, and that's why I placed uh, 3 over 2 here exactly in the middle. Because the, the first, one of the first uh, compound time signatures that you will face is the one that is 3 over 8, 3 eighths. Indeed, if you multiply 1 fourth by 3 over 2, you will notice that is 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8. In music we don't need to simplify like you uh, might do in mathematics. Um, obviously it depends which one is your level and um, at e which year you are studying at the moment. But simply pay attention to what I am saying and simply remember that you multiply the top number 
by the top number of this fixed value and the bottom number by this number 2. So indeed the second one will be 2 times 3 is 6 and 4 times 2 is 8. Et voilà, 6 over 8 is the second one. Then we have 3 times 3, that is 9, and 4 times 2, that is 8 again. And then we have 4 times 3, 4 times 3, that will be 12, and 4 times 2, that is 8. So the 3 8 is coming from 1 fourth, the 6 8 is coming from 2 fourth, the 9 8 that is coming from 3 fourth, and the 12 8 that is coming from 4 fourth. Obviously, in this case, now you might say, if you have declared that in this case the quarter note, the crotchet is the count, which one will be? The, the unit, the count in the 3 8, in the 6 8, and so on will be the quaver, will be the eighth note indeed. And that's all, this is the difference. In the three eighth, you have three counts, each of them is worth one eighth, or six beats, each of them worth one eighth, and so on. Let's indeed maybe treat one second the six eight. Six eight, placing the treble clef for example. Look what I can do. Let's stay in a simple C major, key signature, I don't want to add any sharp or any flat. For example, I, I start doing C, D, E, and now I have to group in three. Quaver, 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 I can group. And then I can do F, E, D. In this case, I don't need to add any strange number on top, as I did when I explained the triplet. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, or we can do one, two, three, one, two, three, and I can play one, two, three, four, five, six, or counting in a different way, using only one, two, three, I can do one, two, three, one, two, three. I know that things are becoming more and more complicated, but start from scratch, considering simply them made of the quantity of bits that are mentioned uh, in the top number. I think that for today we should definitely stop exactly here, we shouldn't go that much further. I want to see how you react and then I will be definitely happy to add extra um, tutorials to explain even more, to give examples, to dive even more into the understanding of the compound time signatures. Today is a simple introduction. Remember that we have, I have multiplied, multiplied the simple time signatures by this fixed value that is 3 over 2 and this is the result. Okay? So if you have any question, and I think that you might have questions today more than ever, feel free to comment to let me know if you have understood anything, and um, that's all. If it's the first time you're landing on my channel, thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.